Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The cornerstone for the present-day United States Courthouse was laid in 1852. Originally called Institute Hall, the building was intended to serve as a place for events and performances related to the adjacent Natchez Institute School. The president of the Natchez Board of Education stated at the cornerstone laying ceremony that the building would serve as a monument to the past, showing what can be accomplished in a few years by willing hearts and ready hands. Completed by July 4, 1853, the building quickly became the city's entertainment venue, hosting traveling acts and local celebrations. By the 1890s, newspapers called the building Opera Hall. It had even briefly doubled as a roller skating rink. The American Legion refashioned the building as a World War I monument, adding two descriptive plaques and four bronze plaques to the names of veterans to the facade. Over the years, the building served as a canteen, library, charity clothing drop-off center, museum, and storage facility. By the 1970s, the building was in decay, and in 1987, the Historic Natchez Foundation stepped in and championed its preservation. In 2004, the GSA acquired the building and rehabilitated the structure into a courthouse. In 2007, as it had over 200 years earlier as capital of the Mississippi Territory, Natchez once again was the site of a federal courthouse. New plaques, including the names of over 500 African Americans and 100 white veterans who had been excluded on the original listings, were placed on the building. Hi, my name is James Johnston. I'm an employee of the City of Natchez, Department of Planning and Community Development, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.